Hi YouTube, welcome to Pagan Perspective. This is Megan, aka Spiritry. Today we are talking about numerology and the books, uh, Drawing Down the Moon by Ather and um, also Pagans and the Law. So, if you see me kind of bouncing around, I am so sorry for that. I am having to actually film this while driving in the car, um, trying to get this going, you know, in some way uh, to get to you, hopefully still on Friday, Hawaiian time is a little bit, um, uh, I guess behind you could say from East Coast time I think it's six hours right now uh, so where it's light out now for me it's actually gonna be dark for a lot of you if you're on the mainland so I'm gonna try and get this out as best I can I apologize for the shakiness though as much as I can so try and get this out so numerology let's start with that I don't do much in the way of any kind of numerology I do have some numerology things with me though um, for example um, my birthday is July 14th and I weighed seven pounds 14 ounces and I was born at 7 14 in the morning so uh, so those two numbers are really important to me seven's always been incredibly important to me um, I actually have a tattoo uh, that has seven women on it um, so that's something that I find really important. So I definitely identify with the numbers, but I don't do work with them at all. I really do not do numerology work or anything like that. It's just never been a passion of mine. I know it is for some people, but um, I've just never found that that love of it. Uh, I think I've talked on here before that uh, really herbs is my love. That's sort of one of my passions uh, is uh, doing anything with herbal medicine and magical herbs and medicinal herbs. So that's kind of what I focus on the most. So, and then if we're moved to, again, so sorry about the bouncing. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Um, so basically the two books are Drawing Down the Moon and um, Pagans of the Law. So, all right, let's start with Pagans of the Law because that is probably my favorite. Um, I love that book. In fact, I did a um, big presentation uh, in graduate school on therapy for uh, pagan families in particular around custody issues and things like that and Pagans in the Law was an absolute essential resource for me and I really enjoy the book if you are thinking about having a family or if you have a family I cannot recommend this book enough it is really good for those of you who don't have a family too there's a lot about job protection um, and things like that in there however my goodness if you have a family it is so important to have that book because you need to know your rights and you need to know what can come up because uh, really it's down to state state law at this point and that's really problematic um, and it can be really difficult and the the books just give so many resources and so many ways to talk about things and just to know where the red flags are and um, be prepared because it, it can be a big fight uh, we've come a long way um, but it, it can be a really big fight so I couldn't recommend the book more I really really found that it was amazing um, the other book that I thought was amazing if you're looking for um, more kind of uh, I guess uh, pagan knowledge in that way um, about pagan populations and things is the pagan census the pagan census was also one of those books that I just couldn't live without when I was doing um, my work and my research for um, for my graduate degree so definitely check out those two books drawing down the moon is basically one of you know the the books that they say really brought modern paganism to the world, right? So 1979, um, and just I, I, the first run was like something like 30,000 copies. Um, and for at the time, for a book on the occult uh, and an alternative Earth-based religion uh, to sell 30,000 copies is actually really, really good. And now, you know, subsequent editions have added uh, tons of new pages and new text and all sorts of things. And so, um, really amazing book. Basically, what it's talking about is you know what are pagans who are they um, it gives you accounts um, of different pagans it's you know real life pagans kind of thing uh, it talks to them about it it talks about the history um, it talks about uh, also drawing down the moon and what that is is you know drawing the goddess invoking the goddess um, but it, it goes into a lot more than that so it really is a great read um, it, it is Wiccan though so that is just something to keep in mind it is um, I think she wanted to be more earth-based religion but it does it Essentially, most of it is very Wiccan based, um, but that's okay because at the time that's really what was out there in the public, so to speak. So um, definitely check it out though if you're interested. Uh, I do enjoy the book. I, you know, I haven't, I, 
don't have a worn out copy or anything like that, but I have read it and um, and I did appreciate it. Uh, so there are things though that I have worn out copies of um, and the Pagan Census and Pagans of the Law are worn out copies for me. So I couldn't recommend those two books more. And as far as numerology goes, yeah, I like seven, I like 14. 14 being the double seven, so naturally. Uh, I really love that. And yeah, I think that that is probably all for today. Kind of a little bit of gorilla uh, YouTube videoing. So um, yeah, I think that's gonna be it. And I think I might even have, um, my mom has actually come and is visiting me. I'm so excited in Maui. So I might have a little um, vlog uh, footage of that up coming up on my personal channel as well, which is Superior Three. So yeah, guys, I think that is it. Uh, as always, blessed be. Have a wonderful rest of, rest of your week and aloha.